For this update, I'd like to talk about President Trump signing the new US MCA trade deal. You know, it's an amazing victory for President Trump. The amazing thing about President Trump is that he has achieved so much. It's so amazing. You know, he's basically making miracles happen. Now, this trade deal, it's amazing. And it's the first deal in 20 years you know, that has been actually supported by the largest trade union in the United States. So the middle class people, the workers, the everyday people, this is actually what they want. You know, no administration has sat down and listened to the American people like the Trump administration has. You know, so let us pray in Jesus' name. Lord Father, we thank you for this day. We bless your holy name. First of all, we thank you, Lord Father, for President Trump. We thank you, Lord Father, for all that he's doing for America, for the advances, for the changes, for the improvements. Oh, Lord Father, I bless your holy name for the lives of the workers continually get improved in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord Father, we pray, oh, Lord Father, that the truth will continue to shine, for the truth will continue to reign and prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord Father, I pray, oh, Lord, that the truth about President Trump is what will be seen all across America and all across the world. The respect, the thanks, the gratitude that he re he deserves, he would get in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord Father, I thank you and I bless you in for the Trump family. I thank you for Ivanka Trump, for Donald Jr., for Eric Trump, for Tiffany, for Baron, and for his wife. Oh Lord Father, I bless your holy name for every family member of his for his sake they are all blessed they are all protected in the name of jesus christ all is well with them in the name of jesus christ and i thank you lord father for opportunities shall arise that will link them to walking in a stronger fellowship with you those who do not know you they will get to know you situation shall be orchestrated in which they will get to meet with you and get to walk with you more and advance in their walk with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord Father, I thank you, Lord Father, for your grace. Oh Lord Father, I pray, Lord, that our friends and friends and other organizations that you will use are going to go into the media world. We are going to take over the media world and put forward the truths and put forth reason and let people see also, O oh Lord Father, that they do not need middlemen, that middlemen, news reporters are not necessary in a world where you can hear straight from the horse's mouth. People would understand the value of hearing it from the source, from looking at things for themselves, looking into things for themselves and stop this dependence on the minds of other people to make decisions for them. They will stop this dependence on the opinions and the validation of other people to determine what they feel about themselves and what they know about themselves or the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, blessed be your holy name forever. Hallelujah. If you just say that prayer, I would like you to go to pastoralfred.com, you know, or you could go to alfredandfriends.com and click on the salvation prayer link in the main menu. Both sites have it. And say that prayer there if you have not given your life to Christ. If you are not a Christian, it's very important that you become a Christian. I would like you to do that now. Also remember to subscribe to alfredandfriends.com. Once again, thank you and God bless you. Today we're finally ending the NAFTA nightmare and signing into law the brand new U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement. Very special. Very, very special. The USMCA is the largest, fairest, most balanced, and modern trade agreement ever achieved. There's never been anything like it. Other countries are now looking at it. This is a colossal victory for our farmers, ranchers, energy workers, factory workers, and American workers in all 50 states. The USMCA is estimated to add another 1.2 percent to our GDP and create countless new American jobs. It will make our blue-collar boom, which is 
beyond anybody's expectation. Even bigger, stronger, and more extraordinary, delivering massive gains for the loyal citizens of our nation. For the first time in American history, we have replaced a disastrous trade deal that rewarded outsourcing with a truly fair and reciprocal trade deal that will keep jobs, wealth, and growth right here in America.